guys what's up sherry here from no fucks even crew how's it going so this is going to be a divine masculine reading for april the 29th until may the 7th 2017 so i just wanted to quickly mention that um i'm going to be taking a break next week to get my cards finished well the cards are completed but i'm still working on the description book so i'd really like to get that done um, so I'm booked up for readings this weekend, so I won't be taking any further readings until um, probably May the 8th after I put out my next reading. Alright, so I love you guys. I'm super stoked about almost having this done. So they will be available for purchase. So I'm going to be doing um, a Celtic wing using the John Holland and... Um, of course, my cards for clarifiers. Okay. Jeez. They're pretty sticky, sorry. I've been doing a little bit more work on them, as you can see by that video that I put out there the other day. So they're good to go now. Alright, so beginning with um, the present position. Nice. Nine of Cups. Wish granted. Um, so this is having your dreams fulfilled on an emotional level. Feeling abundance of love overflowing. And, you know, your cups are overflowing with love. Um, so this also talks about an arrival. Getting to that place where you're just happy and you're doing the things that make you happy. So you feel like your dreams are coming true. That is beautiful. Sun card, nice. Ten of Pentacles. And the Wheel of Fortune. So, the Sun card. This is the best major arcana, most positive. Um, it's returning to innocence. It is um, feeling excited and um, optimistic about the future. It's a brand new beginning. So, seeing um, this, the future uh, through a child's eyes. But it means abundance coming towards you. The, and it also represents masculine energy, sun. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is that long-term goal or vision. So it's like a retirement kind of energy. It's being at that place where you don't have to worry about money anymore. So you, you feel like your dreams are manifesting, not only emotionally, um, but materially as well in the 3D world. You... Um, you feel secure. Um, the Wheel of Fortune talks about the Wheel of Change. Uh, so what goes around comes around. Um, it's also talking about you know, good fortune and good luck coming back towards you. So during this cycle of change, which is a completion, um, could take from five to ten years, um, the, there's a sense that you need to surrender during this change. So overall, you are excited. You your heart chakra is open, you feel this abundance of love, um, and you're, you feel like you've returned to this state of innocence, childlike um, purity, and you feel secure and um, in knowing that, you know, long term, you're going to have that life that you desired. Uh, so major change is transpiring right now and you're allowing that to happen because you are following your heart okay so your foundation nice judgment the grand awakening card the thing that is fueling um, this love and excitement is the fact that you are awake and conscious um, so this is realizing that your entire life has just been a movie. You dreamt up the characters. Uh, you dreamt up the plot. You are in control of this movie. You get to decide how the movie plays out. So, grand awakening. Realizing the truth of conditioning and the material world. Seven of Swords. Three of Wands and Five of Swords. So the Seven of Swords talks about feeling like somebody is deceiving you, not telling you the entire truth. So you're questioned 
whether or not this awakening was real or not. Um, and, you know, this card represents truth. Um, weighing your options, um, evaluating the path, past and so that you can make changes. It also talks about significant changes as well. So, you know, there's this questioning going on in your mind whether or not um, this whole coming into consciousness is in fact real. Um, so I feel that you kind of let those fears go. Finally, the Seven of Swords has been following you around for months now. Um, the Three of Wands is um, making a decision that is based on your true authentic life, your, um, you know, the thing that drives you, the thing that makes you feel passionate. So it's making a decision in the past based on this living your true life and then feeling rewarded, feeling like um, you're on the right path and you're, you know, you're feeling accomplished and you're feeling optimistic about continuing to move forward. The Five of Swords talks about walking away from conflict and, you know, argument, negative energy. Um, you know, feeling like the finger is always being pointed at you, like you're doing something wrong. And um, just deciding not to engage in that anymore. I know the truth now. Um, I know that these stories that you tell about me aren't true. I know who I am. Um, and so I'm choosing not to listen, I'm choosing not to believe that, and I'm walking away from that. I'm not allowing it in my life anymore. And it's because I'm awake. Okay, so recent past position. Nice. Awesome. So, recent past, you decided to have a brand new life, brand new start. So, passion ignited. Oh my god. That's beautiful. Um, so you decided to live your truth. You want to be free. You want to live life um, doing the things that make you come alive. So this is go time. It's a uh, thrust out of the gate towards your future. Um, so in the Twin Flame reading, the heart-centered energy was the Two of Wands. Um, and this is Ace of Wands is, is coming up in the recent past. So this new start, this new beginning is coming from your energy, the masculine energy. You want this new beginning and you're excited about it. You feel um, driven and awakened and alive. Ten of Swords. Ace, or sorry, Eight of Swords. And uh, the Four of Pentacles. So this um, is these two cards showed up in your present position or was it yeah it's in the present position so uh, the ten of swords this is um, an ending ten is completion so it is an ending to feeling like you've been stabbed in the back you've been you know left for dead you've been betrayed over and over and over again and and you're done with it you're walking away from the negative thoughts and negative energy the darkness you're cutting it away literally um, and you're freeing yourself from this mental prison. Eight of Swords is um, feeling trapped. And it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So it is this energy, this pointing the fingers that's stopping you. Um, because you're choosing to believe that you are a prisoner. Um, that you, well, you chose. Because it's in the past and it's the ten is completion. So you, you chose not to believe the the, uh, the negative stories um, that are being told about you and you chose to release yourself from that prison um, and have this brand new beginning. The Four of Pentacles is, could represent a firm foundation being laid or um, it represents being closed off, um, you know, holding on too tightly to something or someone's holding on too tightly to you. Um, but just being closed off and not letting anybody in. And, and that's because you felt, you know, that you were imprisoned. And you just, you know, um, you needed to be released on your own. You needed to make that decision and realize the truth for yourself. And you did. You're awake. So you ended it. You cut the barriers away. 
and you opened yourself up to feeling love, to feeling hopeful about a new beginning, a new life, and letting go of that that fear. Um, yeah, and taking that leap of faith. So the Ace of Wands is something that the fool would be holding in his hand as he takes that leap of faith. So um, this is what you desire as an outcome and likely to get. Sacral Chakra. So this is where your emotions are stored. Um, so the things that make you feel passionate and it's sexual energy as well. So you desire to feel emotionally fulfilled. That seems to be a major theme here for you. Um, you're awake. You realize that you are allowed to feel love. You're giving yourself permission um, to cut away the negative, cut away anything that's holding you back and opening yourself up to a new life, which means opening yourself up to love. So you desire to feel emotional fulfillment. Nine of Pentacles again. Four of Cups. And Ace of Cups. So last week, um, the masculine was trying to find um, hit the courage to find his independence. Um, the Nine of Pentacles is an arrival again. Uh, but on an emotion, or sorry, on a um, material, 3D, physical level. So it is having the um, freedom and financial stability um, to live, you know, to do the things that you desire and live the life that you've always wanted to have. Um, but, you know, not really placing a lot of importance on the 3D world, just living your life the way you want it in the 3D. Um, but it also talks about ripeness, um, the harvest, uh, the fruit is ready to drop from the branches. The Four of Pentacles, or sorry, the Four of Cups is um, longing, wanting, stagnation, feeling like things aren't moving. So you want to be released from that. You want to um, break free um, of feeling like you're being held back, feeling like you're wanting and longing love in your life and actually taking that step towards um, feeling it in the 3D, not just on a 5D level, um, but actually experiencing love. The Ace of Cups, brand new beginning, um, but it's special in that it's an arrival. It's, it represents you being open to letting love in. <clears throat> Sorry, see, the Four of Cups is a closed off heart. The Five of Cups is even more so, but the, you know, you're kind of closing yourself off, um, or somebody else is closing themselves off. Uh, it's, you know, wanting control but not having that ability. It's really scattered energy. Whereas the Ace of Cups is letting go of the past, letting go um, of the pain, um, opening your heart up and being an open vessel, allowing that love in and giving it freely as well. So you desire your independence, your freedom and, you know, security. Um, and you want to break out of the Four of Cups and follow your heart, have a new beginning. So you want, you know, emotional fulfillment. Okay, so crossroads position. Nice. Find feminine. Um, so the masculine got this. You got this on as a final outcome. You stepping into your true authentic life. Uh, you know, in being detached from the material world and following your higher purpose, basically. So stepping into your power, knowing your power, knowing your worth realizing um, how powerful you are. Um, the Empress, same idea, the feminine um, in her true authentic form, living her life, um, her higher calling, her higher purpose, but the feminine, uh, sorry, the Empress is the goddess of love. Um, you know, the, she has her heart sh chakra open and she's waiting to um, receive you. 
to embrace you, to hold you, to love you in the 3D. This is Earth energy. Eight of Pentacles. Star card. Oh, nice. And the Four of Wands. Um, so, Eight of Pentacles. Working hard, 3D world. It's positive movement forward towards, you know, um, your true love, towards uniting. And the star card is wish granted, but it's also healing energy. So you're moving towards your heart, plus, um, you know, you feel like your, your wishes are being fulfilled, granted. Um, you're believing that this connection, this true love, can be a reality in 3D. So the Four of Wands, um, normally in the John Holland or every other deck, I use it as my 11-11 calling card, but really what it means is that arrival, um, being with your soulmate, but having that spiritual connection, that awakening, that um, living your true authentic life with your, your soulmate, twin flame, and so it could represent marriage, engagement, that kind of thing, being a home, but, or buying a home, sorry, but sharing your life together, be coming together in the 3D. So there's a sense that you, um, in the crossroads position, in the near future, you will be um, working towards making this a reality um, in the 3D. You're following your heart. Okay. So what are you resisting? Nice. Very icy. Well, nah, maybe not. Um, <laughs> the Three of Swords. Heartbreak. So this showed up in... I think it was a final outcome for you in the Twin Flame reading. So this is, you know, having your heart broken. And... Or it could represent that you're afraid to have your heart broken. But it's in your resisting position. So... Maybe you fear, you know, there's still those lingering fears there of opening your heart fully. Um, and so you're resisting maybe stepping fully towards um, love. I don't know. Let's see. Two of Swords. Hangman. And Page of Cups. So two of swords is making a decision and because it's so such a significant decision, there's two choices to make, um, there's a sense that you can't make that decision. So there's um, a stop from moving forward because of this significant choice. And the choice that you will be making um, will ultimately cause some form of heartbreak. Um, whether it's yourself or for somebody else, to somebody else. So because you're afraid of hurting someone or yourself, that decision can't be made. The hangman is um, surrendering, letting go of control, and seeing things from a di different perspective. So spirit is asking you to let go of control in terms of making that decision. You're putting too much thought into um, the future. These, this is both air energy. So these thoughts are just thoughts. You make them a reality. Um, so let go of those thoughts. Let go of that fear and surrender. Um, see things from a higher perspective. The Page of Cups is communicating your love. Um, so messages of love. This is a muse, the object of your desire. So you, you want to start a new relationship and you want to communicate your love. Um, but like I said, there's that sense that a decision is um, lingering um, or you made a decision perhaps and you're scared that maybe it wasn't the right decision. Um, I think really what Spirit is saying is to stop thinking. Surrender and follow your heart. Express your love. Don't hold back because you're afraid. 
of what might happen. Um, if it's true love, you can feel it and, you know, moving through you. It awakens you. It, it's warm, glowing energy. You know, it makes you feel um, ignited and whole and like you're connected to something much larger than yourself. So, you know, it connects you to your spirit, to your higher self. So love is why we are here. So don't cut yourself off from it. Don't, you know, make a decision to release yourself from that prison and then turn around and do the exact same thing. You know what I mean? It's like three steps forward, two steps back kind of feeling here. So surrender um, and quiet the mind and just allow destiny to play out. That's what the um, Wheel of Fortune card, it's destiny. So you got, actually, I just realized you got three ones here. So the sun reduces to one and then ten and then ten. So three ones, that's crazy. And the wish granted. So you're on the right path. You are surrendering. Just don't let those lingering fears um, stop you. Because ultimately, if you go within and you listen to your inner voice, your inner knowing, you'll know that you're on the right path because you're following your heart and it makes you feel alive and excited and happy. Okay, your internal environment, two pentacles. So, um, this was the overall energy for the twin flame reading. So this is making a decision about the 3D world. It is wanting that start, this brand new life, and now you're working towards making it happen in the 3D. You're, you know, putting actual hard work into it, manifesting it. So yeah, decision made. Um, so this means that the decision has been made or you're trying to process the information or make it happen. So there's change occurring in your environment and it's making you feel a little unsteady um, so spirit is asking you to be the calm within the storm and silence your mind silence the fear and allow the change to occur and it's very similar energy over here you know feeling excited and alive and happy about this new beginning knowing your future is, is um, is solid with the Ten of Pentacles because you're allowing destiny to um, show you where you need to go or just, you know, allowing it to happen. Nice. High Priest. Nice. 1111. 11. And the Knight of Swords. So, High Priest. This is the Higher Friend. Um, so, you are being represented as a spiritual leader. Someone who is awake and aware and who is not controlled by the material world or society's conditionings. You are unattached. Okay, so um, this could also represent your connection to the feminine in terms of being connected 5T. Um, but really what I'm seeing here is that you are awake, you are conscious, you understand what you want and what you want is the 1111 twin flame soulmate true love connection. You understand it now. You understand how it awakens you um, to higher levels of consciousness. Unfortunately the part of waking, waking up is facing your fears. Um, like I was saying in the Twin Flame reading, when you meet someone um, who you connect with deeply um, and something you, you've never experienced before, it can scare the crap out of you. So um, it brings all your fears to the front. The things that you thought you had put away and dealt with long ago, it, you know, it digs all that stuff up. And so it feels to me like you've let it all go. You've, um, you've cut away the negative. You understand that they aren't real, that it is just in a, you know, 
movie playing in your own mind. So you're conscious, you're awake, and you're on your spiritual path. You, are, you want to live your true authentic life, and you want to feel that true love, um, that deep soul connection, and you made that decision to make it happen in the 3D world. The Knight of Swords could represent an air sign, but it is uh, the feminine got this um, in the Twin Flame reading. It's an energy of wanting to move forward and communicate your truth. It's, you know, um, being a champion, fighting for justice, cutting away the barriers, but it's actually making shit happen. So there's a sense that you made that decision, you know what you want, you have mental clarity. You're awake, you're aware, you understand what this connection is and how important it is to, to awakening. You're, you know what I mean? How important it is to your spiritual journey. So pain is what awakens you. And sadly, that's what we need to go through in order to truly, um, you know, we have to go through that fire many, many times. And you've done that, quite obviously. And now you're done. Um... You know, even though the, the world card isn't showing up, I f I'm feeling this major sense of completion and accomplishment just from these four cards. And, well, the whole reading, but you, you definitely know what you want now. Um, I mean, maybe you knew it before, but you're just kind of ignoring it. You're, you're shutting yourself off because it was safer to be in this cold space because it's something that you were brought up with um, like I was saying in the twin flame connection the whole point of um, awakening is awakening to the fear that oppressive energy from society that pushes fear on us all the time so you know in a weird way we feel safe um, when you're protecting yourself you know what I mean? Um, when you're in a fearful um, state of mind, you're in that protected mode. So it's a false sense of security. So there's a sense that um, you're awake to that now. Okay, so what is in your external environment? Seven of Swords again. So this came up as foundation so this energy is still following you around and it's still in your external environment um, so this is a feeling that somebody is going to stab you in the back take something away from you hurt you in some way you can't trust somebody um, or it could represent that you still don't know you know there's that lingering thought that maybe this isn't a real connection but I rest assured, it is real. You know it's real because of how it makes you feel. Um, so, yeah, something you need to take care of in your environment. So, let's see. Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and Two of Cups. Oh, my God, that's awesome. So, two pages, messengers. So, it could mean that you want to communicate uh, big time about a spiritual union, about this, um, um, you know, true love connection. Um, or it could mean that you are putting um, your ideas um, and making plans uh, about having this Two of Cups spiritual union in the 3D world. Okay, let's go back to this. So, Page of Cups, planning. Um, it is wanting that Ten of Pentacles and actually planning and um, putting work into making it happen, what you're doing. So, making plans for the future. The Page of Swords is somebody who has clarity of thought, has ideas, uh, formulates plans, um, but it's an airy thing. This is um, the physical world where this is uh, thoughts. So you're trying to figure out a way to release yourself from the Seven of Swords. Um, now, the, this card comes with a warning. Don't um, sneak away in the middle of the night, avoiding 
um, the conflict, facing it head on, and um, you know, coming at it from an awakened standpoint, um, you know, with mental clarity and with an emotional detachment, um, will help you see things more clearly. So that's what this card is about mental clarity detached from your emotions um, seeing how you know your life is just a movie and you can choose um, you know how it plays out and what you're choosing is not to feel this anymore you want love you want this deep connection with your true love so the two of cups is spiritual union it's um, two people seeing each other um, reflected in their eyes, you know, someone else's eyes. So you see yourself in that person. Now, twin flame isn't about opposites attracting. That's wrong. Twin flames are soulmates, um, not necessarily soulmates, but, you know, true love, twin flame connection. You recognize that person as being like you you vibrate on the exact same level you share um, the same kind of history um, the same upbringing the same um, music the same ideas um, and you're probably most likely to be in the same exact situation so being both caught up in like a karmic relationship or you know um, believing that you're you're imprisoned by something in material world so there's a sense that you're waking up to that you're you're realizing that you are deeply in love and that you want that connection and you want to you know make it a reality so you're making plans or trying to formulate a plan to release yourself from the deception okay so the outcome uh, for these three cards here Seven of Pentacles, patience and planning. So pregnant pause, gestation. So you are putting work into making this relationship happen in the 3D. You are surrendering to change, to your destiny, and you want love. But there's something that is um, that you're waiting for. And if you watch the Twin Flame reading, your card was postponement um, and what they were saying is that postponing uh, is stupid <laughs> so you you know why wait why wait for tomorrow you know um, you're gonna be older or you know things will always come up something will always get in the way why wait when you can do it now when you can do it today nothing's stopping you it you know the Pentacle is earth energy, so it's material world that's stopping you. The moon. Chariot again. And the king of wands. So the chariot, or sorry, the moon. Um, you got this in the twin flame reading. So it's a feeling like there's a veil over your eyes, like you're not seeing things clearly. Um, it also means using your intuition and your you know, psychic knowing in order to guide you, but it also means facing your fears, facing your shadow aspect, and walking through you know, that veil of illusion. The chariot, so you got this twice in the Twin Flame reading. It is going after that thing that makes you happy living that life that you always wanted um, and not being held back by other people's desires um, that you know really just doing what you want to do so the chariot is an emotional card you want emotional fulfillment you want to be independent you want to start this new um, beginning but like I said there's that sense of longing and wanting um, but also you want to be released from that and here the, it's kind of a similar energy but now spirit is saying well you want that okay so go within and listen to your intuition what is your intuition telling you it's telling you that you're free you can 
take control of your life. You are the one that's in control. You have the power um, to get on that surfboard and go surfing and, you know, have fun. The um, King of Wands is someone who would actually do that. Um, the King of Wands is a leader who is an entrepreneur, has um, ideas, um, and goes after those ideas without a second thought. So, you know, he makes shit happen. Um, but this is also fire energy, so it's going after your higher purpose, um, living your true authentic life, you know, in terms of spiritual spirituality and awakening, um, and not being in, held back by fears. So taking control, coming out of the darkness, finding your power, your sun, your strength, your masculine, masculine energy, um, and controlling uh, the wave. So, no more waiting. If you want it, go after it. Okay, so your summary outcome. Two of Wands again. So this was the energy, or the card that showed up for the heart-centered energy, shared in the Twin Flame Union. So this means the decision has already been made. Um, the Two of Pentacles sh showed up here as well. So that's um, repeated energy. The decision has already been made in the past uh, to follow your true authentic life, the thing that makes you feel passionate and excited okay um, and having that new, be new beginning and once again the decision is made to make it happen in 3D so not only are you deciding to go after um, you know that passionate life that new beginning but you're also making it a reality in the 3D Alright, cards are sticking together. Nice. Divine Masculine. Nine of Wands. And the Queen of Swords. Okay, so the Emperor. You got this as a final outcome for the Twin Flame reading. So stepping into your power, your strength, even one up. Uh, from the King of Wands, you know, he's a leader, he takes control, um, very fiery and passionate, well, yeah, he's even more so, more so in his strength, more, more so in this leadership role, um, so you are waiting for the tide to turn, um, but you feel powerful, or you're waiting to step into your strength. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior, so there's a sense that um, you're giving up on something that's making you feel this way, or Spirit is asking you not to give up and to give it that final push, you know, find strength and courage to really step into your true, authentic life. Um, the Queen of Swords could represent an air sign, um, but it is um, having mental clarity being unwavering, making a decision, and cutting through the barriers, but also seeing through bullshit, and not taking crap from anybody anymore. Um, so finding that strength to go up against, say, like a Queen of Wand energy, or Queen of Sword energy, do you know what I mean? Like, Or having that Queen of Sword energy, and, and just not taking shit from anybody anymore. I'm, I don't want to feel this way. I don't want to feel wounded and knocked down and taken advantage of anymore. I want to live the life that I've always wanted to, to live and be happy and feel alive, like I said. Okay, so final outcome. Nice. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. So what you desire is your independence and what you're going to get is your independence harvest this is ripeness the fruit is ready to drop from the branches um, 
So this represents independence and arrival in the 3D world. You're working towards making this a reality, you know, this union, this connection. You've decided, or you are deciding, the decision has already been made, sorry. Um, so you're waiting for that change to happen, and um, that's what's going to come towards you in, as a final outcome. Hermit, Devil, and Seven of Cups. So the Hermit is, um, it reminds me of the movie Into the Wild, where this guy cuts up his credit cards and burns his money and goes and lives off the land. So, um, there's a sense that when it's time um, for you to seek your independence, um, you know, when you get that sign from spirit that it's time, you will be retreating, um, going off on your own, uh, and finding, you know, your light within in order to guide you out of this chain that's coming up next but the um, hermit talks about unchaining yourself from society realizing that um, you know there's nothing in the material world that can give you satisfaction nothing satisfaction comes from spirituality from living your truth and um, being unencumbered by the material world so it's detachment from the material world. The devil card um, is that chain that is stopping you from, you know, like I said, living your true authentic life. So it could represent a codependent relationship, an addiction, or beliefs, attachments to possessions, and believing that the worth is from having this attachment, you know, or like it, it could be a sense of security as well. You feel secure hiding behind this devil or being allowed to be manipulated by the devil, you know, so you don't have to make any choices. Um, it's all decided for you. So what I feel is there will come a point where you will say no more. I know my value. I know my worth and you seek independence and you detach yourself from that devil energy. So the seven of cups is um, scattered energy, feeling you know you have too many choices and you don't know um, which way to go. So it goes along with this um, hermit and devil. It's, you know, I want to detach myself from this, but I'm afraid, you know, I know what I want, but I don't know how to get there. So, once again, Spirit is saying, just do it. Just let it go. No fucks given means not giving a fuck about the material world and its, cha uh, its attachments. It means not giving a fuck about what you have to offer. Um, it means not giving a fuck about how to get where you want to go. It means letting that all go, period. No more attachments, no more um, expectations, just living your truth. Okay, so I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the energy for the overall, sorry, overall energy for the reading. Rest and rejuvenation. So both... Um, uh, both aspects got this as a foundation in the twin flame reading. So you are in a state of rest. Um, you're clearing, clearing your mind of any negative thoughts. You're uh, finding peace and solitude and meditating. So you're doing this in order to heal your heart and let go of any lingering fears so that you can ground your decisions in the 3D world. So you've already made the decision to walk away from that negative situation. Um, and currently in um, you know, a state where you're getting that energy, that courage and power 
to manifest your reality the way you desire. So, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so I don't know where my book is for Call It Bear and Read, so I'm going to pull a card from the Osho Zen, and I'll read that to you for the message from the universe. One of your final messages for the masculine... Awareness. That's exactly what I was saying. That's a chariot again. So you got it twice in the Twin Flame reading and you got it twice in this reading. And it also reflects that return to innocence as well. What I was saying is, you know, in the Twin Flame reading, the ultimate level, or I think I was even saying it here, but the ultimate level of awareness and awakening is return to your innocence. Um, so it's before all of this conditioning, you know, and stories were attached to you. So it's, um, yeah, return to zero. The veil of illusion, or maya, that has been keeping you from perceiving reality as it is, is starting to burn away. The fire is not the heated fire of passion, but the cool flame of awareness. As it burns the veil, the face of a very delicate and childlike Buddha becomes visible. The awareness that is growing in you now is not the result of any conscious doing, nor do you need a struggle to make something happen. Any sense you might have had that you've been grasping in the dark is dissolving now or will be dissolving soon. Let yourself settle and remember that deep inside you are a witness, eternally silent, aware and unchanged. A channel is now opening from the circumference of activity to the center of witnessing. It will help you to become detached and new awareness will lift the veil from your eyes. And that's exactly what I was saying. That's exactly what I was saying with this. The veil is being lifted. You're realizing your strength and, um, like I said, return to innocence. That's perfect card. Okay, so, yeah, let me know if this resonated at all. And I love you guys. See you next week.